right here. Let me come up to your mouth. Oh, Luis Martinez and Maurice Mojo Brown have built a bond that never short circuits, and Luis is confident that it will lead to a bright career as an electrician. I was in construction. I was going through electrical, through masonry, through plumbing, through carpentry, and I was more fond of the electrical because you know it was more hands-on and you know I, I could grasp it better than anything else. Luis wasn't sure what he wanted to do after graduating high school, but he always liked to tinker with lights, so he began to study as an apprentice with Metro Power. I wouldn't know half the things I know now being, you know, working with Mojo. It's definitely a huge advantage having a mentor, especially in the electrical industry. You know, I haven't died yet, thank God, but... Through the governor's high-demand career initiative, employers identified a critical need for skilled workers in the energy industry. Through Georgia WorkSmart, the state partners with companies like Metro Power and awards them grants to fund four-year apprenticeship programs. Luis is learning electrical codes and theory, wiring, how to read blueprints, and is getting hands-on experience with transformers and generators. Now he has one year remaining in the program, and when his studies are complete, he'll graduate debt-free. They're willing to invest in me, like they're willing to pay for all my schooling. And not only that, but they'll invest even more if I want to take a class. They'll invest the money in me, like no questions asked. But first, there are still lessons to learn for a 21-year-old apprentice, like climbing into tight spaces or going safely up a ladder. You don't have to, so you go straight down and you can cut it right ahead. Mojo has been doing this longer than Luis has been alive. The teacher does his best to make sure the student understands there's little room for error. Especially with electricity, it, it doesn't care who you are, it'll, it'll attack you regardless. So you definitely have to be cautious when working with it. Electrical is a dangerous field. So you just can't come in just thinking you'll be okay. We gotta teach these young guys on how to handle electricity, when when not to use it or what to use, what to touch, what not to touch. I've been zapped a couple of times and it, it, has, it doesn't feel good at all. But to Luis, what does feel good is helping other people build their dreams, like when they recently updated the electrical on a family-run coffee shop that's expanding. Just helping these business owners has just been rewarding in itself, just me doing the work and then being grateful for it. So that's a, that's a great feeling to have. Once Luis is licensed, he'll plug into a great Georgia job as a high-voltage electrician that has solid salary growth potential. The average electrician earns around $56,000 a year, and some can make upwards of 90 grand. I take my work seriously. Like I, I, Any kind of job I do, whether it's big or small, I'm going to try and read books, learn as much as I can to improve myself to be more valuable to not only myself but to others. He has the potential to be anything you want to be in the electrical field. Great kid, man. I, I, I wouldn't trade him for the world, you know. All right, 10-4.